Hi, my name is Chris Campbell. I'm a cellist and I'd like to talk a little bit about color on the cello and how the bow affects that. There are three basic ingredients and it has to do with the bow and where it fits on the string. Okay, the first aspect is point of contact and we have this palette from the end of the fingerboard to the bridge. It's about four or five inches and that's where an infinite variety of sounds exist. When you play over the fingerboard, the string is weaker than other spots. So you need to use a lighter bow. Huh? And you can activate the string with a fast bow. Huh? And get great results. So this kind of pale, smoky color, it's great for French music, great for a lot of mystery in your playing. Now if we move closer to the bridge, about halfway to the bridge, the string is stronger um, and it supports more weight and to get a good sound the bow needs to slow down a little bit. This sound will project more. There's a lot of resistance from the string, so you can get kind of an edgy sound if that's what you want. You can get a very projecting sound, a very intense sound. So music has got so many different emotions in it that you need as many different colors of sound as there are human emotions. And we all know there's a lot available here. So...